Ladies and gentlemen, we're here for another edition of ECCW. Only three ECCW episodes remain as we arrive here from Chicago, Illinois. This is Franco, joined alongside PC and your call hero, Danny Jackpot. Yep, we have, yeah. and we have a great show today and stuff and things and whatnot. Tell you what, though, I think Wade Barrett and Ryback have gotten into a little issue. Since last week on ECCW, Ryback interrupted the title match between Barrett and Batista. We saw Ryback uh, got attacked by Barrett after Ryback took, took uh, care of Batista. And here comes Wade Barrett, the ECCW champion. The same man that. Let's not forget how important it is to stay relevant here on ECCW. With this show closing, all these guys' uh, contracts are wrestling. That's right, and he's got an impression to become on Raw or SmackDown. And plus, if. Well, I'm sure these guys come and help you guys are going to be pretty If you were to close out a ECCW as a champion, you'd be pretty much guaranteed a contract, right? That's right. Unless you're Ezekiel Jackson. Well, Ezekiel Jackson's on Raw. He's in the Hall of Pain. I, I, I meant the actual, real-life Ezekiel. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a joke. Anyway, Wade Barrett, I don't think he's in a good mood here. But these still, uh, uh, Wade Barrett did beat William Regal at Summerfest. He's been impressive. Yeah, I know. In a match that a lot of people actually thought would go the other way, too. A lot of people thought William Regal was going to walk out of that match champion. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I think someone's hungry. And a little bit of Oh, there he is. Here comes Ryback. And Ryback has been on a roll over the past few months here in ECCW. That's he's right. beaten everyone. He's uh, gotten in the way of Isn't Batista. He, hasn't he yet pinned? He has never lost a single match. Has he yet pinned and tapped out? I he just said match yet. everyone. Tell you what, I'd like to see Ryback face you, Danny, in the match. Oh, we know that match won't happen. I'm too busy uh, feuding with Rick Flair and guys that actually matter. More like you're scared. Uh oh. Scared of Ryback? Why would I be scared of Ryback? I'm more than he can eat. Well, here comes a man that might be scared of Ryback. Here comes Batista. And they, over the past couple of weeks, we've seen Batista run away from Ryback. Why do you think that is? Which I don't understand. Batista is bigger and stronger than Ryback. Well, maybe not stronger. We've yet to see that happen, but. You would think someone like Batista doesn't need to run from a man like Ryback. We saw him he's attacking him from behind. Plus, Batista's actually relevant. Hello. Batista? Batista's not relevant. Not in this company. I don't think. I think you want. If you would say that to his face, he'd smack you right. Uh oh. Double tune assault. I think if I said that to Batista's face, he'd run away like he does when he, uh. You know, it comes from Ryback's face. And look at this. These two are getting a steel chair. This is not looking good for Ryback. Here we go. Whoa, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Regal. Regal. He's an NAW What's legend. Regal doing on here? He's an NAW legend. Coming to the aid of Ryback. And ladies and gentlemen. has done a lot in car just... Look at that, Batista on the run. You saw what happened. He attacked Ryback right again. again, and when the numbers game were evened up, Batista and Barrett are on the run. John Laurinaitis, the ECCW general manager. People power. People power. Tag match, players. That is huge. I think we're gonna have we're gonna everything's gonna be settled tonight in a tag match. I think these four men are going after the ECCW championship as well. And like you said, TC, I think uh, 
you imagine a Phantom Power two-way verification ride back to William Regal? That's like four different powers all coming in one. That would be huge. I'll tell you what, though, with the way it's going, I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing that match, especially with ECCW coming to a close. That would make a huge match for the last show. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, up next, we're going to have the toughest man to wear a dress to be in action against the European champion, Alex Riley. You know, this, I, I, I'm going to throw out here right now that Alex Riley is the most unrecognizable champion in WEDF roster, and it's a tragedy. You guys have not realized this man has been the European champion for, what, has it been almost a year, over a year now? 400 yeah, days. nobody is looking at this man and saying, damn, look at this guy. He's oh, that's because he's up there with the uh, O.C. Jax's record for the longest title reign in WWE history. That's because I'm like O.C. Jax, oh, it's rough. Yeah, but he, he, like, he always teaches his way to victory. But a win to win, and... Uh-oh, here we go. Here comes this man, the toughest man to wear a dress. Here comes Big Vito. Well, I can guarantee you right now when we go to a different, uh, when EC to CCW ends, the toughest man to wear a dress will be the toughest man without, you know, a job. Either. I wouldn't say that for sure, because Vito hasn't lost the match in quite some time. He's been undefeated ever since one that stand. Well, how many matches has he had? The man wears a dress. You're gonna tell me that you guys are gonna sit there and tell me the SmackDown general manager, the Raw general manager, won their world heavyweight champion or their brand to come out and represent their company while wearing a dress. If he keeps winning, you can't blame him. They, they want a man like Danny Jackpot, a man who has won 19 world titles, man who doesn't wear a skirt or a dress, doesn't have to dress up like a woman to get noticed. But what if you face Vito and lost? If I face Vito and lost, I don't even know what I would do. It wouldn't happen. That, that, that's the thing. I'm sure Vito would sit there and hope to God somehow that he could hold a par with me in the ring, let alone actually beat me would be a no-hold thing that would blow his mind. Look at Vito. I don't think Vito. Probably. Last week we saw Alex Riley interrupt a match between Damian Sando and Matt Hardy. Apparently, Alex Riley doesn't want Matt Hardy to face him for the European Championship. And what? And what? And why would he? Matt Hardy has not earned the t a title shot. Yeah, he beat he he, he beat uh, Alex Riley in a non-title match to earn a title match at Summerfest. And Alex Riley decided, oh hey, you know, Matt Hardy hasn't dropped the pound in five years. Alex Riley decided, oh hey, Matt Hardy's. And he'll beat me for that European Championship. I was like, I'll just get him counted out. What a great champion Alex Riley did. For 400 days, all he's done is cheated. For 400 days, Alex Riley has been your European Champion. Now you can look at it either way. All I know is at the end of the day, we'll look at it back five years from now. And we'll see in the title books. Alex Riley, the longest reigning European champion in WBDF history, let alone the way he's going, Alex Riley, the longest reigning champion of all time in WBDF history. Apparently you've taught him uh, quite some things of how to be a champion. I, I, I've had a few one-on-one -on -one sessions with Alex Riley during the developmental days. But Vito is taking Alex Riley right now. Oh, and there's the... Don't forget, Vito, a former WCW Hardcore Champion, great rivalries with Norm, I mean, Norm, what the hell was that guy's name, the Big Wheel? Um, Nor someone on the comments tell us no that. Norman Smiley, thank God. <laughs> Norman Smiley. Vito and Norman Smiley had some great teams in WCW. So Vito can go still. See? Yeah, Vito can go. It's just, you know, you might need a couple weapons to do that. Well, anyway, and you need to back take back. that dress ah. off and put mentos on. Alex Riley getting the upper hand on Vito. If Vito wins and pins the European champion, who's to say that Vito might be in the European title hunt? Well, if you pin the European champion, the John Laurinaitis would have to be blind to not give this man a European title shot. As much as he wears a dress, 
I mean, I, I can understand why he wouldn't get the title shot. Who'd want your European champion wearing a dress? It looks our company look bad. We're going to say that the man that's going to represent Europe and our company is going to wear a dress? Yeah, what does that say about us? You got to kick out. Oh, come on. I'm probably kicking out. Near fall. Right with the drop kick. That is not too done. I mean, like or not, though, Alex Riley has beaten Evan O'Shane, Justin Gabriel, twice. Once in a singles match, and wait, cover, we got one, we got two, we got a kick out. And surprisingly, it's... Veal's actually holding his own against uh, Alex, Alex Riley. This is very, sh very shocking. Tell you what, though, uh, Vito has a chance here. There's a Russian leg sweep, so easy, you can do it. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Riley's getting smothered by that dress, too, and how the hell did Riley kick out of that? He had that dress right in his face. Because Alex Riley is a champion. Back Alex up. Riley, if you're going to be champion for 400 days, you got to be durable. You've got to have endurance. That's why he was able to kick out of that. Now Alex Riley, what's he thinking here? Shot right to the back. Maybe trying to think of or you're dismissed. I'll tell you what though, I think Matt Hardy will be in another European Championship opportunity real soon. Despite what Alex Riley thinks. Because Matt Hardy was just so close. He was beating. Wait, there's Matt Hardy! Wait, what is he doing out here? Matt Hardy, get back and go. Wait, that's the most running I've seen he, Matt Hardy do in years. He's returning the favor from last week, distracting Alex Riley. Matt Hardy has turned himself into great shape. That's bullshit. No, that's look. bullshit. He referee, do your fucking job. Now Vito having a little fun with a leg drop. Vito's gonna do this. Oh referee, referee, screw job ref, screw job ref. Flash one, two, oh. just like that. Wait, Alex Riley getting a dose of his own medicine. River Riley did this to Matt Hardy last week against Damian Sandow. And I think hell this this falls over. Vito has just pinned the European champion. I, I, I can't even say anything. I'm, I'm lost in words here. What the hell? This is a tragedy. How come the referee was not paying attention? And how the hell? Why the hell is Matt Hardy in Alex Riley's business? This is a one-on-one -on -one match. What is this in a match where somebody's probably going down and getting their business involved? Oh, so all about turn about this is the dirtiest win I've seen in ECCW history. I'm sure this won't even stand in the record books. Bullshit victory. Bullshit victory. I probably victory. got Matt Hardy's business. You don't call that bullshit? That was last week. The shit happens from a week ago. I'm not, I wasn't here to see the tragedy last week. We see Bear, uh, William Regal backstage. He says he's going to have his rematch at Scars and Stripes for the ECCW Championship. Remember, ECCW will be coming to a close after Scars and Stripes. I don't think Regal trusts that. So, like I said, these guys really would like to be champion walking out of that event. There's no doubt about that. And Regal says he can't trust Ryback. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah, I'm just saying right now, I can guarantee you that William Regal, will, if he's on Raw, he'll be world champion of Raw. On SmackDown, he won't beat me, but on Raw, he'll be world champion. Well, Regal is, a couple, uh, couple, uh, is considering retirement. Oh, he's done it all in this business. He's what? reached the ECCW championship that he's been going after. Here goes William Regal has got OBE. To a set to take on Funky Cool, and it looks like uh, Lotus Play won't be able to make it tonight, so Rikisha will have to go at it alone. Thanks for these two. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Now, this was scheduled to be a tag team match. Now, as much as, you know, I'm not a big fan of Rikishi and everything. Uh, it, it's not fair to have him wrestle a two-on-one match and you were told me you were going to wrestle a two-on-two -two match that night. Well, Primo and Epico took out Broder's play. They had a plan. I don't like their plan, but it was strategic. <laughs> These two uh, actually uh, beat the Million Dollar Congregation on SmackDown, so they'll be having a future tag team title shot. Yeah, i I seen that. That was very disappointing. Very disappointing. Uh, the Million Dollar Congregation is the best tag team in WBDF. The suspect does wonders with that. 
with that tag team. Uh -oh. I just had to throw that out there. Hey, Rikishi, he says he has to face Bucky Cole as a team. What's Rikishi talking about? What? what is Scotty <laughs> Trujano going to come out? The Grinch is his partner! Holy fuck. The Grinch? That is awesome! Why? The Grinch! Why? Because... Why? <laughs> fuck it. Why not? He's not a wrestler. He's, he's, he's going to get in this sports circle. He's going to get hurt. You guys might think this is fun in games, but out there it's very dangerous. It's not a place for a Grinch. This is not a joke. This is this is serious right here. The Grinch is uh he's uh taken many people to the limit before. The Grinch can't take shit. I mean this is like the, the same man that did. He wouldn't be packed for a whole time. Grinch is the same man that uh, that did the worm to Ryback in a match. He took Ryback to the limit. Grinch all he wants to do with this. He did not take Ryback. To Took him to the gym. Well, Ryback allowed that match. I guess Ryback might have, but still, Grinch wants to have fun. He wants to wrestle and he wants to win a match. That's all he wants to do. Well, it's not going to happen tonight because the Grinch is not capable of it. I thought you liked the Grinch. I do like the Grinch, but when it comes down to actually being in the ring, He's not a wrestler. I mean, let, let's say Frank that we threw you out there right now, you, you, and you want to wrestle me. How do you think that'd go for you? Well, I'd probably end up the same way that the Miz did to me a couple months ago. Exactly. Exactly. But the Grinch, on the other hand, he has a well, he has a chip on his shoulder, I guess. Now Rikishi with an Irish whip and over. Oh, Frank. man. Over she just almost ran over, but um, Primo or Epicor or whatever is like a using his quickness. He's going at it again. Well, I got a question here. Now, now let's say if the PC and the Grish do win this match, and Primo and Epico just beat the Million Dollar Congregation on SmackDown, does that put Grish and PC in a tag team title situation? Then? Um, they, I wouldn't say why not. I mean, Bret Hart, uh, like him or not, has done. Unique job on uh, SmackDown. He has. He screwed me over multiple times. Fuck Bret Hart. And Rikiji's taunting, and that's good. And that's good costume with that huge spin spinning wheel kick. I don't know. Well, and, and must I remind everybody, Bret Hart is only has a sour attitude towards me because we all know Bret Hart screwed Bret Hart, and he just won't live with that fact, and he hates that I know that. And a black hole slam. Nicely done by the big man. I think the weak link in this match is definitely the Grish. If the Grish gets tagged in, Prima and Epica might have the advantage. Well, now, now wait a second, Frank. You can never say that the Grish might be the weakest man in this match. Primo is in this match. Primo. All I gotta well, say, Primo has been impressive match. over the past couple months. He come back with a new attitude to WEDF. And surprisingly, the Grish is holding his own against oh, Primo and Epico. Grish is holding this, his own. This has got to be a joke. This has got to be a joke. The Grish is actually holding his own. Reversal and a power slam by the Grish. Oh, God. Well, think about what would, uh, think about how pissed off Primo and uh, Epico would be if. If they got beat by, by the fucking rich. Oh, we need to make a bulldog! Uh-oh. We're about to get a little funky. You were I don't think you're even thinking about that, Tyler. The what? what? Like, I don't think you... We're okay, gonna hit the wall. What? No. Arm. No. Arm. No. Arm. no. Ladies and gentlemen, the Grish could be beating, could be beating Primo here tonight. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. There's that cup. Coming off a victory over the tag team champions, you're gonna lose the Grish. They almost did, but now Epico getting in in, in the way. And looks like oh, Primo's out. No way, he just got back up. So. A swinging neck breaker. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Don't, don't call a little too early there, Tyler. What? Oh, I was thinking you know Primo. Uh, I'm joking. You think? <laughs> no. Oh. The Grish is in a bad situation now because the numbers game are catching up. 
Well, the Grish was in a bad situation when he jumped and agreed to this match. Well, he had to help his partner out. His partner was weakened. Uh, Rhoda's play was not able to compete. Plus, can you really can? So why the hell have we gotten like Grandmaster Sexy to make a return? He got released. Couldn't on anybody other than the Grish. Wait, cover one, two, no. And there goes Rikishi. What's the Disco Inferno doing? Um, being on the unemplo unemployment line. Good point. And look at this, but we went up and go using numbers game and dirty tactics, just like how they beat uh, Funky Cool the first time in the tag team tournament over a couple months ago, and they beat Rikishi and Brodus Clay beat by count out. That's what set up this match. That was one hell of a tag team turn. And that pretty much that was so for whining because Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara beat them. We cover one, two, and we got a kick out. I I'd be wearing whining two if it's an XPB. I mean, I mean, there's a difference between Primo and Epico and Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara. The difference is, whenever you see a stick in a mask, you can expect him to be a criminal. Primo and Epico, they're, they're, they're nice. Clean shaven specs. You've also raised one Mexico. time. You've also raised this year one time. Well, well, yeah, but I've also lost to Shana Marie in a match before. Wait, Grish for the belly belly. Grish needs to make a tag with Truman Epico just isolating the Grish. Like or not, this is why strategy keep Rikishi out of the ring. Well, I mean, after about one or two moves, you think that'd be it for the Grish. Oh, I'm surprised I, that he's even lasted as long as here. Well, they haven't been going for cover, so maybe they're just trying to toy with the Grish and hurt him. Maybe the Grish is dead and the referee has not checked his body yet. And he just keeps getting up for some reason. He's got guts, but I think the Grish <laughs> just, just needs to stay down. He just needs to stay yeah, exactly, down. Exactly, just stay down, kid. Stay down, kid. He just doesn't want to stay. Or you know, Rikishi just needs to jump it. Rikishi needs to just jump in the ring and you know just get the five seconds over with, get the disqualification, come help his partner out. He's not going to win this match. Uh oh, Evico might be staying up with the back whacker. And Primo takes care of Rikishi. Well, no, he doesn't. No, there's the back cracker. That has got to be it, ladies and gentlemen. End of the cover. This this could be it too. And three, Rikishi was not able to make it. He was not able to get his ta the tag in. And an impressive victory by Primo and Epico, even though most of it was against the Grish. But, any but anyway, I'm surprised that, that the Grish did as well as he did. So. Well, he hung in there, but Primo and Epico oh. had a strategy here. I told you guys this was always going to happen. Did I not? Did I not? Well, you, you didn't say that the Grish was getting The Grish oh, is not a wrestler. He still held his own, but in time, I think... I mean... Primo and Epico are have to deal with Rodas Clay and Rikishi once more as a unit. Not Rikishi and Grish. I, I, I think in time that Primo and Epico are going to be the WDF tag team champion. Well, that's... Because the league has got the champion, they accept it. I believe they've got a future tag team title opportunity on the next SmackDown. Speaking of this, why are all these champions losing as of lately? We've seen Alex Riley lose tonight, we've seen the tag team champions lose last week. Maybe the challengers are getting more impressive. Oh, like, the challengers are doing their homework. The challengers are more hungry. And maybe well, I, I know that WEDF talent division, it, it reaches deep far into the roster, and there's a lot of great talent. That, that guy that you don't even hear about for two weeks, he'd come in out of nowhere and be the number one contender. Because that's how deep the, you know, I mean, the talent is in the WEDF roster. Anyone can be beat on a given night, and here comes... Or not talking to Big Show and Jericho. Well, we're invited. well not Danny Jackpot. Danny Jackpot chooses when he wants to be beat. Big Show and Jericho were invited here in ECCW and they were arguing about who the bigger knucklehead is. Looks like we're going to have another... Obviously Big Show. We're going to have another tag match. Jericho and Big Show have to find partners tonight. <laughs> Jericho's the same man that calls to say that Big Show calls them the tag team title when Jericho was the one that was pinned in that match by the million dollar congregation. Blaming Big Show for being a knucklehead and not breaking you know, up. 
Now, now who's gonna get into this tag team match? Well, they've got to so, so represent a knuckle. Like, like honestly, could you, like who's just gonna be like, hey, oh, I need to have you as my partner so I can prove that the big show's a bigger knucklehead or whatever. Well, who's gonna agree to that? Or the big show's gonna up to somebody. Yeah, uh, you wanna come in my business? <laughs> I don't really care. Is this is Well, Delmar, I think fair. Maybe having them get a more momentum. And here comes David Otunga set me and actually gets Santino Morel, and he's uh, a lawyer for Layfield Incorporated, helping uh, uh, have that uh, having that million dollar bounty, which Matt Eichel tapped in at Rebellion. I wonder, Danny, has my act one ever given you any of that million dollars you won at Rebellion? My act one has given me more than money. Here comes Santino Morales. I think you all think he's a clown. Well, the man's been very tipped. Santino is one more than us. Santino nearly, one of my Santino nearly made up a big show tap out a couple months ago when Santino was teaming with Daniel Bryan. Well, unfortunately, he was teaming with Daniel Bryan that night. Santino was still the impressive in that match. And Santino is by far one of the most overlooked WDF talent. It's very sad that his antics and his comedic ways like, express over his actual talent he has in the ring. Well, the cover of the Dragon nearly beat uh, Jericho in that Champions Extreme Rules, but uh, I believe it was, uh, Jericho made uh, Santino tap up before Brian made Big Show. Where's, it, where's David? Uh, you know, like, uh, you remember that one night stand pay per view with that pre show between uh, the Hurricane and the Venus? Yeah, I wonder what happened to Hurricane. I, 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 I just like to bring out to, to the fan base, you guys who were watching that match and I commentated last time, y'all are assholes. <laughs> y'all are assholes. <laughs> you guys hate it on that video you know, for no reason. Speaking David no Otunga, then here's the more superior wrestler to David Otunga. And David Otunga just pawning around, sent here with a hip toss. Santino has the veteran-like instinct compared to David Otunga, where David Otunga has pure muscle and raw power. And you would know a lot about uh, da David he's also Otunga, being a considering and he's a former he tag team par partner of yours uh, in the spotlight. That's right, and uh, David yeah, Otunga was also a part of the spotlight in WDF along with Mason Ryan. And I got a great story for you guys. It, it involves a uh, traffic ticket. A uh, bottle of lube, me, David Otunga, and his wife Jennifer Hudson. Now I can't go into great detail what happened here, but let's say that, you know, if there was a chicken in that room and it was frozen, that shit would be chicken that we play in the night. Now, since <laughs> uh, a huge right hand from Otunga, since he is dead. And Dave Lutonga is working on Santino Morel. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. There's a side slam and... Change to Samoa Joe. Because Santino going up high. Santino flying. We got a one. We got a two. We got a kick out. The reverse. And this could be a chance for both, for both of these men to prove their stuff and maybe get a television title shot that down the line. Mm -hmm. That's why the television championship's been held by Charles Brown. And Charles was having issues with Brian, but who maybe knows? The going for a while. Or maybe the or European, Maybe these two. Oh, maybe they get the tile the, the shot within like three weeks. I don't know. Or maybe, uh. Well, Santino, well maybe. But if Santino can win this match, maybe he could set his eyes on something bigger, the Intercontinental Championship. Or Tonga, if he wins, he can set his sights on the United States yeah. Championship. Oh, so, so Santino's automatically going to Raw or SmackDown. Santino's on the plan. What's up with that? I think on, Santino's already on Raw or SmackDown. Santino's on What's SmackDown. Oh, Tonga's on Raw. Is he? But both are former ETCW What are these guys? Stars. Santino's a former uh, television champion, by the way. 
I knew that, but I thought last time I checked, this motherfucker was competing on e on ECCW. That was many months ago, but he got... When did he get moved up the smack? Oh, Tonga looking to end it, but no. Santino looking to win this. We got to roll it. One, two, and that is definitely not Jason Matthews. Two, three, and he wins. What? Santino going to win there off the ball. Like, El Tonga, once he... My dog disagrees with that. Shoulder first. Now El Tonga yeah. can end it. There's the verdict. The verdict connects. Oh, that's out of the That's unfortunate. El Tonga cheating to win this match. One, two, three. Yeah. Shoulder. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, you know... David will find a good for him. Impressive victory, nonetheless. Well, he was invited here to compete on ECW. Uh, John Laurinaitis invited Otunga to sip coffee with him in Red Bull match. And then he beat Snackdown Santino Morella. And the bragging rights match with him wrong Snackdown. Well, okay. John Laurinaitis and David Otunga go pretty far back for him. And you know that David o uh, David Otunga and John Laurinaitis do not like Santino Morella either. And despite losing this match, and Team Morella put up a pretty impressive showing. But just like Santino, just can't seem to break through the glass ceiling. I mean, he has his moments, but he just always comes up short. Sort of like Evan Moore on SmackDown in a way. But <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he did. Evan Moore did be a yeah, that happened. Yeah, that happened a long time ago. That means about well, twice, actually. I remember when Evan Moore faced I, I remember an episode. Well, there was a lot of Zack Star, Evan Moore, and Danny Jack pot matches that happened like, throughout one summer. Looks like Chris Jericho found a partner in Damian Sandow. I don't know. Wait, Maybe. what? Damian Sandow is the biggest knucklehead of them all. No, he's but fine. We don't know what they're what they're saying. <laughs> yes, he is. Damian Sandow, if you're gonna tell me a man who speaks like that, who thinks that he's like actually wait fitting in with Marshall, the guys, social go. world, is is a total fucking retard. Commercial. Excuse my language, people. It slips. Going to do a and uh, post. FNW, there's an FNW spread, also bug. There's your cheap boy. Oh yeah, dude, everyone go on those WEDF forums. We will post the link on the ECCW description. Now, we need you guys to support on these WEDF forums. It's, you know, we'd like to get your opinions and thoughts and everything. You know, it's better than just the comments on YouTube. You can, we can talk to you back and it's very more focused and everything and all broken down the categories and the random videos it's, and you know you get to know the fan base and everything nice anyway ladies so come join the WDF that's the where that never is posted and stuff but anyway here comes Chris, Jer Chris Jericho it looks like it's time for that tag team that's right Chris Jericho looks like he's found Damian Sando his partner Damian Sando did pain Matt Hardy like it or not despite the Alex Wright interference Sando might be trying to look uh, to become European champion, possibly. But here comes Chris. You know, oh. you know, here was one of my favorite moments in WBDF history. Is when Antonio Cesaro came out and tried to earn a contract, and he failed. Yes, he lost to Ryback, and Ryback will be in action later on tonight. But anyway, we've got focused on this match right now. Chris Jericho looks like he's found. This match is what made you think of that. Because Damien Sandow and Antonio Cesaro make me think of a lot like each other. And now what if Damien Sandow went down that same path that Antonio Cesaro did? How oh, unfortunate would that happen? And here we go. Here comes Jericho's partner, Damien Sandow. And where is he? Wait. The after I talked this man up. Of the Armored Masses, he claims himself as a savior. Yeah, he, yeah, he's not the true savior. He he's a savior of something. I don't know what it is, but well, he, just, he ain't the true savior. He just declined his offer because it's disrespect, disrespectful. Oh wow! Wait, what? He will not. After I talked, I told you this man with a was nothing. This man's a piece of crap. He doesn't want to be involved in this knucklehead buffoonery. He says. 
I guess I couldn't. But you, you know what, Frankie? I'm actually gonna go out there and be Jericho's partner. Oh, oh, wait, oh, 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 crap, my leg. Oh, freaking. Oh, I'm gonna get my leg out. Oh, I'm sorry, Jericho. <laughs> oh, I, I can't do it. That's probably because your mom's time rival right the big thirty. Oh, here. Thanks. So I wonder who. Yes, can you have it? So I wonder who the big show shows his partner. Who cares? We need to get somebody out here from the radio. The world champion is gonna be hurt. Who cares right now? You're on future world champion. But it, but but anyway, I'm really oh. interested to see who. Big Show pick that, pick that. Oh, Frank, you go out there and be Jericho's partner to you. Hell no. I don't want to be involved in this. Uh, I can't do it. My legs hurt. Jericho needs a partner. I'll do it. I'm not going to win with Big Show. Jericho, no. he will knock me out. Who's Big Show's partner even going to be anyways? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Maybe, maybe you can take any of Big Show's partner with the They're great colleagues. Uh, the same man that just... Oh, 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 <laughs> there you go, Frank. Jump in the ring now, Frank. You can take on Dolly and Joe. I thought you wanted to be out there. Ben, well, I like well, I tell you what, though. This is a quick circle humiliating the great Kali and trying to become his tag team partner. And Kali and... Uh, was knocked out by the Big Show thanks to Jericho's anchors, and now Kylie's on Big Show's side. This is not. So I guess this is gonna be a two-on-one uh, handicap match. That is right. I feel bad for Chris Jericho. He's gonna get slaughtered tonight. I feel horrible for Chris Jericho. If my leg wasn't hurt, dude, I'd go in the ring and both Big Show and Great Kylie's at. Okay, don't you and Chris Jericho have like some problems from like when you first won the Intel title and stuff? That was many years ago. Oh, that was many years ago. Still, do you guys? Dude, yeah, like, ever since then, Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Chris uh, Jericho's in trouble, and I think these two knuckle types of Chris Jericho wants to call them are going to destroy him. I think we're well, actually, and Tyler, I gotta bring up a great moment that happened in WEDF commentary. It was the last time I commentated Raw, Chris Jericho had a match with Triple H, and I was all cheering for Jericho, and Jericho's partner happened to be the Big Show at the time. Less of two peoples. That's so, when, you know. That's when Jericho were together as a, a ta dominant tag team champion. Look at Jericho running away. They, yeah, they were tag team champions. Jericho says to hell with this match. I would, cause he, I, I would. Jericho knows that I'd be out there helping him right now. My legs hurt. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's Jericho gonna do? Jericho's not realizing Big Show's behind him. Look out! He tried to drop kick him and just ran into a wall. So who's the knucklehead? Oh, that, who's the knucklehead now? That, that that's not. That's not cool. The Big Show's the knucklehead. The Big Show's. He's proven that he only can take this Jericho in a two-on-one situation. How is Jericho, how is Big Show proving to be a knucklehead? I mean, because he can't have the balls to face his own, the Chris Jericho. Decided not to participate because he felt that Jericho was a knucklehead. Well, well I'm just saying that the Big Show needs somebody like the great Kali to back him up to take on Chris Jericho. I'm just saying the Big Show is lucky that somebody like me isn't fucking hurt right now. Or I jump in the ring and show him both what's up because they don't even be picking on a man that side, don't they face each other? Jericho using his quickness to try to avoid the Big Show, but Big Show is flattening him with the clothesline and another one. Run, Jericho, run. Uh-oh, it gets worse. Here comes great Kali. This is the man that you beat. On the episode of United, wearing that orange gear. I know. I remember that. That was oh, nice. A knuckle headbutt. Nice, Jericho just got. Uh, you know what? I did get there. Gear. I, I I gave that uh, gear to charity after I was. You know what charity I gave it to? The su uh, the suspect. The charity. Oh look, no! The charity to feed Danny Jackpot's wallet. Oh, elbows. Kali is just, oh wait, Jericho caught the chop. What a knucklehead. And Kali just slapped Jericho. You feel bad for Chris Jericho right what now. What a knucklehead. <laughs> and that, what a knucklehead. 
all these men in these match are knuckleheads. <laughs> and now another headbutt by Kali under Joe. <laughs> Big Joe and Kali are knuckleheads. They're knuckleheads. Big Joe and Kali are just tagging each other in and hitting single headbutts on Jericho. This is ridiculous. And then not proving that they are the. Yeah. Jericho said to hell with this. Wait a minute, get away from their announce table. Mm -hmm. Jericho's pitching a fit here at ringside. Wait a minute. Just go out to the car, Jericho. Oh, Jericho. You don't have to deal with this. He just took a Kali. Jericho, you want me? To... I'm gonna hand you a chair. I got a chair. Jericho just told you shut up. I got this. And he just ran into a wall. He tried to hit the lion salt with Kali. No, Jericho was screaming at that one fan, telling him that he's from Ontario, not Toronto. He's I'm from Winnipeg, you, you idiot. Yeah, I'm from Winnipeg, you idiot. That's what it was. <laughs> he didn't yell in the back to me. He was like, I'm from Winnipeg, you idiot. Wait a minute, Jericho trying to fight back against this monstrous duo of Big Joe and Kali and take down Kali and swing it, swing it, neck break. They're just gonna kind of keep Kali. You know, okay. the Big Show right now is your new AW World Heavyweight Champion. He is. But well, right now we... And he, ha and he has a title defense on NAW Hardcore Impulse which you all should go check out which is this got uploaded the same day this ECCW commentary was done as well. So, what do you think, Chris? Shameless. Do you think this strategy by Chris Jericho is wise to keep Kali down, go from the way? I think the strategy by Chris Jericho here is gonna unfortunately not matter because he is facing two giants. I think well, he's got to try to take someone down and isolate them. You gotta think. Yeah, but then the other one's gonna get the thing and be all. I'm not on Gary, but I'm pretty damn close. Wait, Jericho with the line saw into the pin. This could be an unlikely victory. Two and. Uh, uh, come on. Yeah, yeah. But ref, if the referee should be coming a little bit quicker. It's a two-on-one match. Another and line. another line saw. <laughs> Jericho's got to throw. Okay, up. now now count one. Jericho's got to throw everything, including the kitchen sink. That drop kick didn't even knock down Kali. And it looks like Kali... Wait, wait, Jericho keep the kitchen sink. I think it's great with Kali and Big Show before. How do you take one of them out? Uh, well, this is what I normally do. Wait, the wall? I immediately go for the lay. You immediately go for the lay. I want you facing the Big Show. Smash the heck out of that hand. Fortunately for me... I faced the Big Show multiple times in weapons and cage matches, so I was able to use a lot of my quickness in the cage or a lot of weapons oh, because what a well, someone of my stature and height well needs the advantage. You know, that strategy isn't going to work out because Jericho might be down for good because Kali hit his job and now Big Show's in the ring. It's just a daisy. The shoulder tackle. Oh no, that was a knucklehead tackle. Oh, big. Hit for us, and now a DDT. A jerk no, knucklehead. Jerk a a KHT, a knucklehead. What does that e even mean? I don't know. A, a, a knucklehead. In aim of tie on weed or something. A jerk are trying to fire out that choke slam. And then hit another headbutt. And now another knucklehead butt right there. Now Kali just assaulted the Jericho. Someone in this match already. This, this, the medical head assault. I don't know how Jericho's continuing to fight, but they down. If I had a white t-shirt on, I'd throw it in. On behalf of Jericho. Kali and Big Show just destroying Jericho. But well, looks like Jericho's starting to break. Oh, for the code breaker, no one home. And a chop. You know what kind of reversal that was? A knucklehead chop. Uh, yeah, that was, probably was. And now Big Joe, uh, I think Jericho's gonna get knocked out just like he did. Was it uh, King of the Ring? Here we go. 
He's, he's setting it up. Weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> you mean the knucklehead destroyer. We got one, two, three, and that's it. And Jericho just balls. And has Jer Jericho been able to get the one up on uh, Big Show at all since they broke up? I don't think he has. I mean, each time Jericho started out with Big Show, Big Show has been the one to get the upper hand on Jericho, just like uh, trying to have Kali try to... Jericho couldn't even nail the cold break drive tonight. He couldn't. The only time Jericho got the upper hand was when uh, Big Show lost the match to Matt Eichel, thanks to Jericho distraction, Big Show. Well, of course he lost a match to Matt Eichel. It's Matt Eichel, the best on the roster, other than Danny Jackson. Well, he can't say that after he lost to Jeff Hardy on the past Raw. Oh, oh, you're going to consider that a loss. That was the most impressive showing by Matt Icorn I've ever seen. You all should literally look at him and thank you, and just thank him for the match that he gave you guys in that night. That uh, that proved to me that he is definitely the world champion in my mind. Well, see, Ryback says that Batista's a bully. This is why he's been attacking right... Wait a minute, there's Batista! Remember, we're going to have this main event up next, and it doesn't look like Ryback's going to make it. We're going to see another... Uh, Handicap? Yeah, he will. He's right back. He's hungry. Are we going to see another He's handicap? hungry. He'll get them. Are we going to see another handicap match? Of course we're going to see another handicap match. It's a Danny Jackpot episode. Anything can happen on a Danny Jackpot episode of WEDF. Here comes William Regal. William Regal, the, for, the former East CCW champion, lost a title to Wade Barrett, and you all know the history, so I'll stop, so I'll stop it explaining it. Well, William Regal said that he's the first one that gets if, if there's one man... William Regal, sorry to interrupt. William Regal says he's the first man to get that uh, rematch with Wade Barrett. And he says Ryback and Batista are going to have to take a back seat. Now, Batista got his, but it was ruined to Ryback interference, so Batista still has a right to say something, and Ryback might have a right to say something. But things aren't looking good for Ray and Riga because no. this is a handicap match. No, what I was going to say is I disagree with that last comment. William Regal, if this doesn't end up being a handicap match, he used to fly on the streets at early age. Multiple men in, multiple, in one day. If William Regal, I mean, there's one man in the ECCW roster that can take two guys on at one time, it's William Regal. But Wade the Barrett's also used to fighting. He's a full, former Barrett knuckle uh, fighter. And stuff. That's why right, Wade Barrett won. And before that, he used to wear a coat. William Regal might be tough, but the numbers game he's facing now. William Regal is a real man, man. The only way I see William Regal winning this match is if uh, Batista and Wade Barrett uh, lose their trust in each other. Don't they, because they put their differences aside tonight, but who's to say that these two are going to get into a fight again? Because the two men have huge... You know, my leg's feeling better. I think I'm going to keep up with William Regal tonight. Oh, 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 my other quadriceps. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, okay. Man, oh, dude. All right. Yeah, yeah. Right. you... You've got to get that leg in shape because you're going to be in a match with Evan Bourne, uh, with, uh... I beat that faggot last match, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was last match, so never mind. Oh, so wait, that now we don't know who I'm facing on the next episode of SmackDown? I'll tell you who I'm facing on the next episode of SmackDown. I am facing every single member of the WWE roster, so I am the World Heavyweight anyway, Champion. You bet. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see if you're even put in that... I don't need uh, to see it. We'll see if you're even put in that Stars and Stripes challenge with the winner challenging. That's just uh, at uh, Stars and Stripes, there's going to be a six-man 
number one contender challenge in the wearable challenge the world heavyweight champion at uh, Survivor Series. If you're not 100 percent, they can have all these excuses about your leg, but her not, might not put you in that match. Anyway, now William Regal, look at the strength. Nice T-bone suplex uh, right there, and, w and w William Regal and probably butts. the best. Yes, that, and William Regal is probably the best technician uh, in this match. So he should probably use his submissions, his throws, his stuff like that to uh, beat Wade Barrett uh, and Batista. Look at the exchange of European uppercuts. And a reversal. Oh, wow. So what do you think the numbers game are for William Regan? Do you think he can overcome these odds? Well, if he isolates one of the two people, then maybe. I mean, Jericho tried to do that, and it, it didn't work against Bruce and Kali, and we saw what happened with the Grish. He got but affected by two giants, and holy fuck, God damn it. But he's the high flying. I'm glad he didn't do a 450. And look at these clotheslines. Just mauling into William Regal. A piece of taunting. Former, uh, uh. Danny, you know Batista. What would you do to get around Batista? I guess he's tying something right now. But anyway, back to this hard Irish whip. Well, Rudy Riggle ducking. Will we play the fight? Oh, wow, nice uh, German suplex. Cover. No. William Regal trying to fight against the odds in this main event, ladies and gentlemen. He, he says he gets a few, uh, first opportunity at Wade Barrett now. His last week is out of the way. He's told Wade Barrett at the end of the last ECCW after Wade Barrett attacked Ryback that he's gunning after that title. Off the European off at one. No, not even one. And William Regal went for a lariat, but he missed. And there's a black hole slam again. A sidewalk slam on Batista. Now, back to oh, play. Wow. I think William Regal just dropped right around his head. That had to hurt and tag into Wade Barrett. Things are not looking good for William Regal tonight. Well, Regal's a fine. Well, Re William Regal can just go and make a tag to. Oh wait, he can't go make a tag to anybody. How unfair! Maybe William Regal should just like lay down and just um. You know, know, William Regal, he's gonna lay down. You know, and just look back in another day, and may maybe he won't get hurt, and he'll be. Do you guys uh, not know William Regal? He's gonna let <laughs> William Regal lay down. That man would go down fighting, losing an arm before that man would go down. That's a good point right there. We Regal ain't gonna call it quits. Two? No. Sort of, uh... Anyone else in that situation that Wade Bear was in that situation, but, but these, they probably quit. Regal won't quit. Oh, wow. Bear, okay. He's already run away. Now, Batista tagged in. This is not looking good. Snap ran a big boot. Oh. Into the cover. We got one. We got two. We got a kick out. Pete Carter. Frankie, would you like some of my shattered bleeps? Frankie, would you like some of my shredded bleeps? I probably don't want to... Oh, oh, fine buster. I probably don't want to... I had one of the screw guys with some shredded bleeps. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Regal Duck. Close line of Batista. William Regal could do this. I'm going to call this match. It's a Bronco Sterling. Butterfly two-play. They frost it. I like frost is like. <laughs> Hell yeah. Anyway, back to this match. William Regal is fighting. But the man's a fighter. Like you said. Well, yeah, Wade Barrett, you don't often see this from him, but no. Yeah. William Regal countered him. That's why Wade Barrett does not go up to the top row. I don't need to say much, but when I say it, The big left hand. 
Barrett just is showing that bare knuckle style fighting style right there. And now it tagged a Batista. These two are playing the numbers game now. This is looking bad for Real Regal, Regal again continuing the fight. And William Regal doing better than I expected, and there's a huge power. Wait, one, two, and no. William Regal continuing to kick out of those balls, but each time they cover William Regal, the more energy it takes. Wait, man, there's a huge choke slam by uh, the animal, Batista. No, but this break, can I do something live? Wait. I want to do something live on commentary right now. Hang on a second. Batista stalking William Regal. We've got to get this match done first. I quit ECC. I, I quit WEDF. Oh, it's April Fool's. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Fear! Cover one, two, what? and no. This is when this, this is uploaded, so that joke just went right over everybody's head. Uh, did it go over my head? That's all that matters. Thumbs up, thumbs down. We've got to get this match done. I think it's going to be it. Batista setting up. Batista. Here we go. Oh. Batista bomb. No. Oh. But Ray Ringo doesn't have a partner to tag in. He's had to finish. I know. It's, it's been such a bullshit night here tonight in WWE. It's been like three handicap matches, I swear. Uh, Everyone's been wanting to get the upper hand at each other. There was three. Flex. The Grish didn't come as the rest of it. Then what does he count as? We've got an announcer. Oh my god! Did you see that elevation? Yeah. Wade Barrett is tearing into William Regal. And. Wait a minute, here we go. Uh oh. Elbow drop! Oh. Cover now. One, two. That should be. William Regal kicked out! I told you this man rather lose an arm and lose this match. That's what he's doing. And look at Wait. Oh wow. Wow. Oh. Oh. Stiff half Nelson suplex. But Tisa with a with a cheap shot. Oh look at Batista. But wait a minute. Regal from behind. Fine Buster. And you mean Barrett, by the way. Numbers game is just too much for William Regal. This has got to be it. Batista's has got him. He's got him Dave. Here we go. But he's the bomb. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. There is no way William Regal's going to kick out of Batista bomb. This isn't one night stand where he did that. Here we go. Maybe. One, one maybe. Two, two. Maybe. And maybe. Maybe. Batista and Wade Barrett are victorious. And is this the first time Batista has been William Regal? I believe at least one of the first. I'm not sure if he's been in a tag match before or not, but regardless, so Batista has a, might have a chance to call himself a possible future number one contender again. That is, if he has another opportunity, at, at, if he can get another opportunity. Maybe Danny Jackson will become ECCW champion out of nowhere. Remember, ECCW is coming to a close to Stars and Stripes. But he's just got to find that rematch quick. Oh, it's but he has to deal with, with Ryback first. The limit, but he's just... He's spinning Wade Barrett. And now he's got him up. But he's the bomb. How did Wade Barrett not see that guy? We saw the same thing at Summerfest where Batista assaulted Wade Barrett. And there's no Ryback to come out now, but Tisa is standing on top of the mountain. The animal is unleashed. Who's going to know he's not? The animal's still in my pants. Uh, don't ever think that's a good thing, okay? But Why not? But Tisa is on a roll. The animal is unleashed. And who's going to stop him? I'm here on the Lando's release. Anyway, for me, C and Danny Jackpot. This is Frank Dolphin. New NAW. Good night from WDF. New NAW. Also, buds.